Hey guys, welcome to the Solid Cam University channel. In this video, I just want to kind of do a quick video on how to add a 3D stock. So if you guys have a casting or previous stock that you want to import in and use as your stock for your model, easy enough inside Solid Cam. So right here, we just have a turned part right here. Um, it's actually a customer's file, and he has a casting that he wants to use as a 3D stock. So what I'll do is we'll use SolidWorks and just click on the insert component. And this is his component right here. And I'll just bring it in. And what I like to do is get it kind of orientated in the right direction. Then what I'm going to do is mate it up. So we'll mate it like that. And then we will do an advance with mate here. So I'm just going to click on this end, this end. And it's just going to kind of center that stock in there for me. So now I have my stock in there. Um, done. What I can do is I can actually come in here and change the transparency of it so you can actually see my stock. So it's nice and centered in there. Everything is where it's supposed to be. Now we want to add that 3D stock to our uh, model. So if you just double click on your stock and then unselect whatever's been there and now you can just click on your 3D stock, hit the green checkbox, and what it's doing is it's building the wireframe for that stock on turning. Now, in milling, you, it won't be building this wireframe for you. You'll be able to see the stock, but um, it's building the wireframe envelope for you guys. All right, now you guys will see that our stock is added in there. Um, if we just do a show 3D, you'll see there's our stock. Everything's made it up, and now we can start programming our turning part or milling part, whatever you guys are using. And that's about it. So if you guys have any questions, please let us know. And please subscribe to this channel for more great tips and tricks inside SolidCam. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.